A lot of people need to realize that uh, you know, a whey protein isolate or a straight or even like chicken breast, we might be able to test some of that stuff, isn't going to knock you out of ketosis. Stop worrying about that. Welcome to Price File. What's happening, Price File Nation? And everyone out there wondering if protein causes a blood sugar spike or gluconeogenesis. My name is Mike Roberto and I'm the founder of Price File, a tech and media company that covers the dietary supplement industry and we get into diet research and all that fun stuff. So yesterday, this is day three of my journey where I have a constant glucose monitor. And yesterday I did a supplement review where I noticed that my uh, protein powder spiked me up, and then didn't spike, but it, I had a little elevation in blood sugar. And so I wanted to see what would happen if I took a protein powder fasted with no flavoring, no sweetening, no nothing. And what I'm talking about is I have Nutribio's 100% whey protein isolate, raw unflavored. And this is nothing but whey protein isolate. And you can see on the label, we'll flash it up here, 28.74 grams of WPI 90, 90% whey protein by weight, and absolutely no other ingredients. Now, outside of being a sponsor of our site, uh, one other reason that I like Nutribio a lot is because they have third-party lab testing shown here. So you can take a look at these lot numbers and type it into checkmysubs.com and know that this has been tested. So we're not gonna have any fillers, excipients, or any nonsense messing up our test. So right now I am getting just a, I'm about 15 hours fasted and I'm just getting over my little 9 to 10 a.m. dawn effect kind of morning uh, rise in blood sugar, but I'm still in the mid 90s. So I got some more fasting to do in general and figuring out this diet a little bit. Uh, but I have a 97 blood sugar score and that's about where we're going to start. And we're also going to check ketones. My ketones should probably be maybe around 0 0.5 or something like that. And uh, then we're going to do one scoop weighed out perfectly and then we'll show the blood sugar curve and I'll come back every now and then to do some ketones. So let's have at it. And uh, I would like to also thank Nutribio for sending this tub for free. It was sent for this exact purpose. And uh, someone on Twitter was actually following me and said, hey, it would be cool if you did this test. And I was like, all right, well, let's just do it right now. We're gonna start with a ketone test. So I have the Dexcom uh, G6 blood sugar monitor. And I gotta tell you, this thing is awesome. I've learned more about my body in the last like, three, two and a half days than I had in a long time. So I am loving it, but I clearly have, I ride pretty high blood sugar and I think I need some semi extreme fasting. I might eventually be moving into OMAD or one meal a day. So had a little bit of fun with a semi OMAD meal yesterday. And then over the middle of the night, my blood sugar kind of got a little bit higher. So let's check out the ketones. Now if we can get insulin and ketones on these uh, continuous glucose monitors, That'd be nice because I'm still sitting here pricking my finger. And you still need to calibrate this thing once or twice a day, so it's going to ask for blood sugar, you know, prick still. 0 0.3, and not officially in ketosis, but I am mostly fat adapted and mostly driven by ketones. Clearly, I got a little bit extra from that big meal yesterday. So let's see what happens here. Today's kind of an off day, but I'm still probably going to do a little bit of cardio, so I might test another carb supplement. I still want to stick with 100 grams of carbs per day, as opposed to before the whole LDL test, I was ultra low, nearly carnivore, pretty much like 5 to 10 carbs per day total, if that. So that's where my lipid panel was before. We're going to see what happens when I do 100 grams. Now, though, the question is, this is a mini experiment within the greater experiment. What happens with the, with the whey protein isolate? Okay, so, oh, by the way, totally fresh tub. I gotta open this up. It's been a while since I drank raw, unflavored protein. It smells like Nutribio protein. I guess their flavor systems don't. Hmm. It smells, yeah, sweet. It like, smells like a sweet, kind of dairy ish flavor. Pretty much similar to what we expect from Nutribio. They've been banging, <laughs> banging out some really good flavors. And my favorite is the pancakes and maple syrup one. Is that the one I have up here? Yeah, it is. Things are running low. Okay. So I'm just going to get this right in here. We're looking for 28.74 grams. 27 point. That's a light scoop. Okay. Just a touch more. 20. 28.7 grams. Boom. There we go. And this is 25 grams worth of protein, which is kind of going to be my standard when doing these tests. Blood sugar still at 97. It is 11 on the dot right now. 11 a.m. Damn. 
<laughs> All right, just so you see what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> just so you see what it looks like, pretty much every other Nutribio protein looks like this. Mix this well. You don't really need it. When you have a good quality raw, you don't really need to add a little bit of stuff. I think it shook this more than most because it's foaming up a little bit more. And mm, there's that smell. Okay. Honestly, so that's not half bad. Is it as good as the sucralose sweetened stuff? No, of course not. This is, they, they, see, I, I noticed that they, they upped their flavor game a whole lot. And we're gonna have to like scrape this out of the bottle. They upped their flavor game a whole lot. And I was like, man, I think they improved the raw material they're getting too or something. They got it from a better supplier. It's way as, as sweet. It's not as sweet as sucralose based, but that month or so where I was like nearly carnivore, I got off a lot of sweeteners, except for doing some of the supplements that I was testing. And when you are off the sweeteners, something like this doesn't taste that bad anymore. What's funny is the extra stuff they put into the other powders make it foam less. Like the flavoring and all that, the, the like beetroot for the color if it's red. I could do that. And honestly, my taste buds have changed as I've gotten away from some sweeteners. This is <laughs> doesn't bother me that much. It's, it's not as good. That's a good base. All right, now off camera, I'm gonna scrape a little bit of this and um, so we will edit that out. <laughs> okay, let's wait an hour and a half or so and then, uh, cause that was at 11 a.m. and then I'm gonna choose to either train with some carbs or just get right into my eating and do have some fun with that. Here's my theory. Yes, I do believe this is going to elevate my blood sugar. I'm gonna say 20 points, we'll see. But is that gluconeogenesis? Maybe, maybe not. It might just be glucagon being released because uh, there's an overcompensation. There's gonna be a spike in insulin and the body is going to try to prevent the insulin from draining blood sugar too much. It's gonna release its own glucagon. And no matter what though, I think my ketones are gonna go down a point or so. Uh, and I do believe that there's going to be a small blood sugar elevation. Then, if that is true, then we're gonna have to come back and do a second video or continue this video and see what happens if I start pairing it with fats. And if I am fat adapted and I have fats and proteins, like you have with a steak or you know, when our ancestors were hunting, I have a feeling that the blood sugar spike or elevation will be blunted. So I'll drop back if I have any updates coming up. Other than that, 45 minutes and then an hour and a half, but I'll let you know if anything happens. We'll see you then. So one thing I forgot to mention is that there are zero grams of fat in here, but there is less than one gram of carbohydrate, which means we have like a half a gram of carbohydrate, just so you know. We are sitting here an hour later and 105 right here. So what, a seven point rise? That's not appreciable. All the keto dieters out there complaining or worrying about protein, including myself from the past, do not worry about the protein. You get into ketosis by dropping carbohydrate. A little bit of a little bit of blood sugar elevation from protein, not a big deal. And I still think I could make it blunted even more if I have some fats along as well. So the one hour ketones, are we at 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4? 0 0.2, so we did go down a little bit. I'm still not worried, I'm still not convinced, and I think if you pair it with the fats, you'll have plenty of ketones in your circulation. This is not a big deal. So we might come back in another 30 minutes, but overall this is pretty much a big nothing burger, and I think that's a great thing. A lot of people, and I was wrong before too, which is fine, a lot of people need to realize that uh, you know, a whey protein isolate or a straight or even like chicken breast, we might be able to test some of that stuff, isn't going to knock you out of ketosis. Stop worrying about that. But if you're taking a protein powder, it's got a bunch of crap added to it. If there's a lot of sugars, a lot of carbs, a lot of like, I don't know, nonsense ingredients, these flavor systems that have like tons of grams of stuff, like there might be maltodextrin spiked in some of those flavor systems. You might wanna check that out if you're getting thrown out over and over and over again. But as far as like a straight protein source like this, I'm just not afraid, I'm just not having it. I didn't feel worse or anything from having a, you know, less ketones. But you know, I'm gonna let this ride out, oh, it just went down to 104. So I'm gonna let this ride out just a little bit more and then 
Uh, then we're gonna call it because I wanna eat some real food and blow this thing up and, and catch up on my protein and, and fats and everything. So I'll either be back in 30 minutes or we're just gonna have a scroll through of about an hour and a half on this little mini curve. But yeah, there is a slight elevation. Don't sweat it. Welcome to Price Plow.